This video is for entertainment purposes only and will include theories by real scientists that are speculative and maybe a little bit mind-blowing. Like, could there be a connection between earthquakes and the Schumann resonance and even human consciousness? If you haven't heard of the Schumann resonance, it's often called Earth's heartbeat or even the planet's personal Wi-Fi signal. But what is it? It's the low frequency electromagnetic energy generated by lightning constantly humming in the background of Earth's atmosphere. Specifically, the waves of lightning energy that are just the right length to bounce up to the ionosphere and back down to Earth like a standing wave like this. And the ionosphere, by the way, is what I bounce my ham radio signal off. So for example, if someone waggled a giant skipping rope around planet Earth, and that waggle would just go up and down like this, like in a standing wave. So anyway, the frequency of the Schumann resonance is 7.83 hertz, subaudible. What's this got to do with the 7.7 .7 earthquake that just happened? Well, three days before the quake, a strange white blot showed up on the Schumann resonance. Some scientists suggest that earthquakes might cause bursts in the Schumann resonance because of underground rocks that get compressed and they, like quartz, have a piezoelectric effect where if you squash them, they generate a charge that could theoretically disrupt the Schumann resonance. But could it be the other way around? Other scientists have proposed that in fact, Earth's electromagnetic field and disruptions to it, as we saw here, could cause or at least trigger an earthquake. Things like the controversial Alaskan musical instrument, for example. I want to clarify that anything like this would require that the Earth's crust and the fault are already extremely stressed. So it would just be a case of something pushing it over the edge, so to speak. But anyway, we're not done yet. The human brain has something called alpha brain waves when you're lightly sleeping or meditating, and they're about eight to 12 hertz. And right in the middle of that is the Schumann resonance. So if Earth and the Schumann resonance are on the same channel and our brains in a relaxed state are on a similar channel, could there be a connection? While there is no direct evidence that the Schumann resonance influences human consciousness, that frequency overlap is enough to spark curiosity. Theoretically, it's possible that our brains could be subtly connected to the big gap between Earth and the ionosphere, just like the Schumann resonance. I have a part two that deep dives way down into quantum consciousness and how it might all tie together. So let me know if you're interested and I'll post that too. See you in the comments. Take care.